Hello, hello over there, hello everyone, it's time for another game stream today. Not sure how long we're gonna make this, but uh, I wanna um, play some games again. <laughs> I wanna explore some games that take place around a an house. What's going on around? Some uh, nightmares, some fears, some stuff like that. And uh, we'll see. We'll go from here. Alright. First up, sorry, gonna stop the music. And here we are. Ooh. Alright, let's start with this one. I don't remember much about this one. <coughs> I guess it's our home. Let's see um, some childhood fears. I'm not sure how long this one it takes. I see it has a few nights, night one, night two. So we'll see. Some sometimes we're surprised. Sometimes these games can take uh, quite a long time. By the way, <coughs> while this loads, I found some games with the stock house. The, uh, the the house we played in the spring uh, spring trap game it was a, a pre-made asset an entire house we we've seen that house in um, a few other games I found three more games with that house <laughs> we'll, we'll play this at some point and uh, every time we played a, a game with the same house we really know the house now so <laughs> hi Let's go back to this. Oh, a lot of sound here. Childhood fears. Alright. I'm gonna start from the beginning because I don't remember anything. Let's try to crank this up. Something like this. Subtitles, sure. That's a nice, weird, creepy music. All right, here we go. Here we go. Night one. All right. I have a phone up uh, up here. Wait. Hello? Hey buddy, it's your brother Mike. So mom and dad told me about how you feel like there are monsters trying to get you every night when you're trying to sleep. That there might be watching you from your window or in This closet, reminds me you know, of a FNAF game. Kid fears. And a FNAF fan game. To you, they wanted me to call you to tell you that it's The fine. joy of creation on the bed, the window. Be all right. I'm not going to do that though. Because there are monsters watching you and they are trying to get you. What? I only know this because the same thing happened to me when I was your age. Just like you, they tried telling me I was just having nightmares and that I was imagining it. And they were pretty convincing too. But it was real! Until the monsters decided to show themselves. Once I saw them, I knew they were real. And let me tell you, it's one thing to be afraid that there might be something hiding in your closet. It's a whole other to actually see it in there. The These voice tried to attack me for reminds days, me of comedian uh, Brian Posen. And it looks like you're going to have to go through the same thing. Conveniently for you, though, you have an older brother who has already experienced this nightmare and knows exactly what to do to survive these All right. creatures of the night. A fun weird premise. So starters, you should know that you just have to make it to the end of the week. At the end of the week, the monsters will go away. They did for me, and they should for you too. Also, you need to make sure that you stay in different rooms of the house. If you stay in the same spot, the monsters will come up with better ways to attack you, and you won't be able to avoid them. It doesn't matter whether it's the kitchen or the family room or wherever else in the house. It just needs to be a different spot. It's this way, it'll throw speaking the of after, it seems like a ripoff of Joe of Creation. Rooms, what room are you in tonight? The top bunk in the bedroom. Well, in that case, you're only going to have to deal with a few monsters. That being <laughs> said, things are not going to necessarily be easier just because there's less of them. 
Anyways, staying on the top bunk means that you're going to be dealing with the Grimf, the Beetle, and the Shadow. So, to start things off, let's talk about the Grimf. The Grimf! So, when it comes to the Grimf, think of something like a lion or tiger. Some sort of predator of sorts. All They'll right. try to sneak attack you by hiding and getting to jump on you. Just make sure if you see or hear him, you flash your light at him and he'll go away. Flash your light. See, one thing you should know about monsters, light hurts them. Even if it touches just a little part of them. So think of your flashlight as a type of sword. It's going to be very important to you throughout the week. Okay. So next up is the beetle. Don't let the name fool you. He's not a normal bug. He likes to hide in small, dark places. Of anything, it's probably in the vent right next to you now. Just like the Grimp, all you need to do is flash him with your light. Just make sure you're fast, though, because he is a little quicker than the Grimp. And lastly, but certainly not least, is the Shadow. Once again, you'll need your flashlight to fight off the Shadow. However, the Shadow is smarter than the other two. He'll try to avoid the light by shifting around the room. As he does this, you need to make sure you keep flashing him with your light until he gets real close. Once he gets really close, just flash him one last time to finally make him go away. So that's all the monsters for tonight. This is gonna get complicated, right? Alright, I, I don't survive. know if we're gonna play a lot of games today. To we but might now, be stuck on this one. Batteries, listen out for unusual noises, and wait till morning. The monsters will go away when the sun comes up. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Oh no. I'm gonna survive. Oh. It started. Oh! Whoa! It is a... It's a rip-off of uh, Jove Cricket. Oh! So it's a fun game of a fun game. Someone looked at Joy of Creation. Oh, it's pretty fun with the FNAF characters. And they decided to copy the game. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's see. It might uh, be fun and... Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. And yeah, it was a pretty weak uh, jump scare, but... Uh... So I have to look around real quick. Move, 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 move. Whoa! What the fuck? Alright, the shadow is really complicated to defeat. The beetle comes from up there. The shadow is annoying. And there's the Grim, the Grim. The Grim. Hello, hello. What? It's 1 a.m. All right, time moves pretty. All right. Oh no. We don't seem to waste too much power. No, 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 no. But I got killed by this one, so. I love the end of that one. It's still 1 a.m. I thought you were. The fuck is this? Nope. Alright. Time moves fast. No. Time moves way too slow and the battery wastes way too fast. It's I only have to 30 percent.
<laughs> Two AM. All right. All right. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's ah. It gets difficult. Oh shit, my phone. Not now. Three M. Seven percent. Oh no, that that guy killed my flashlight. No. Six percent. Can I win this? Five a.m. One complete. Shoo! Alright, before I press next night, I'm just gonna have a look at my phone real quick. Real quick. Let's move to night two. I think we can choose. Let, let's see. Night two. Oh, we're on. It's it's even creepier here. Oh no. So I guess the monsters will be the same hey, plus more. First night, huh? I always thought the first night was one of the hardest nights since you don't really know what you're doing yet. Hopefully by now you do have a bit of a better understanding of how things are going to be working. Anyways, let's get back on track. Things are going to be changing each night, so you need to be ready. So where are you tonight? Okay, you're on the bottom bunk of the bedroom. So unfortunately, the grip in the shadow can still see you. So there's still going to be a problem. But there is good news. Good so news! You're not visible from the vent, so the beetle isn't going to be able to bother you. The mutant, on the other hand, is going to be a new issue. <laughs> the mutant! The mutant is a disgusting who will try to hide just out of sight, whether it's in a closet or around a corner. No! The thing that makes him different from the other monsters that you've met so far is that he can't really see. There is an exception to that, though. He can see eyes. Eyes act like little beacons to him. If he sees your eyes, he's going to attack you. Now, you might be able to see where I'm going with this. If the mutant decides to show his ugly face, just close your eyes. Close your eyes? He can't attack what he can't see. Then, once the mute is gone, it'll be safe to open your eyes again. Alright, you should be ready to tackle whatever comes your way tonight. Just make sure that tomorrow you stay in a different room. You don't want the monsters to get the better of you. Bye for now. What? I have to close my eyes. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna get... Oh, shit! The mutant, but you have to be careful about the mutant. What mutant? What? 
Oh shit! Alright, the mutant is the creepiest one. For now. One AM. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. The mutant. The Grumpf. Oh no. <laughs> I love. But you have to be careful about the mutant. What? Oh no! What? What? Just be careful about the mutant. <laughs> ah, come on. It's starting to annoy me. The Grumpf. No! This is the worst one. Because he wastes me 10% of the battery. Whoosh! That noise! Whoosh! You don't like the whoosh? Whoosh! The mutant. What time is it? It's still 1 a.m. What? Two. Ah! I feel like time moved faster on the first night. Right? Whoosh. What the f uh, what? Oh no! I'm starting to mess up the the the, the buttons in my head. R F what what what? <laughs> Three M. <sighs> I like this game. It's kind of actually it's kind of fun. Huh? <laughs> it's a weird. It's a weird FNAF clone. No. Oh no, 4 a.m. Nice. Yeah, I didn't waste 10%. I kept turning it. Oh shit. It's only night two. We have to survive the entire week. The mutant. No, the mutant. But be careful. Five a.m. Nice. Good news, you won't see the beetle anymore. Yay! This game needs a jingle like uh, the FNAF games. Yay! Night 2! Next night. Night 3. Where? What kind? That's the weirdest place. Is this kid sleeping on top hey, of the stairs? Again. So I'm guessing that you told mom and dad about what I told you the other night. You know, the fact that there are monsters trying to get you. <coughs> yeah, after you told them that, they really let me have it.
Apparently, parents don't like it when you tell their kids that there is a monster in their closet. Never mind that, though. Let's focus on tonight. So where are you staying? So you're in the foyer. Well, considering the fact that you're only down the hall from your room, you are most definitely followed by the mutant Crimson Shadow. You are followed However, by the mutant. they're not the... going to be the only ones there, because a new contender enters the ring. The Crawler. The Crawler. Now, you will need to flash the Crawler with your light. But the Crawler is tougher than the others. He'll try to run at you and just power through the light. <laughs> However, he can only handle so much, so once he gets close enough, he will run away. So it might be best to time flashing him as opposed to just keeping it on as he runs up. But that choice is yours. Speaking of your flashlight, what? you should try to conserve your battery. You are going to be using it more often as the nights go on. Besides the crawler, you already know how to deal with the mutant grip and shadow. Like I said, though, just be careful with your light. No. All right, good night. At least explain where they're coming from. God damn it. You could, you could have told us... Look behind you for the shadow, look at the door for the mutant. Whoa! Whoa! What, what the fuck? That's the crawler! Hey! I didn't... He's super fast? I'm not sure we're gonna... Night 3 God damn it Where did he come from? Okay, but he's super fast. Oh no! I feel he's, like he's going to be real annoying. God damn it. He is going to be real annoying. Too much. Too much monsters this time. The group, the shadow, the mutant. Hey guys, and I'm the mutant. This is the best. Yeah. I'm gonna stay focused here. All we're missing is the shadow. The mutant. What the?
Give me a break. What? What? <laughs> no, no, no. I just wanted to have a fun game and it's super stressful. Come on. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> hey, it's too. What the? No! <laughs> Damn you! Damn you, mutant! Damn it! It was going so well. <sighs> I don't know if this is a kind of game you can play hours and hours. Maybe we need to break or something. No! Goblin. Goblin and dad? <laughs> Whoa! Alright. Only one AM. <laughs> oh no! I like the idea to close the eyes to avoid a monster. That's that's pretty nice for an horror game. It works. It makes sense, and it's different. No. Wait, it's 12 a.m. No! <laughs> On top of the stairs is the worst idea I've seen. And I've seen a lot of bad ideas in our movies. Hello. And now it's 1 a.m. I can follow the time. Oh! Shut up! Shut up, V for Vendetta! No! Ah, 2 a.m. I lose electricity. Alright. No. <laughs> no. I was pressing the wrong. No, not this guy. <laughs> mm 
-hmm. It's creepy and it's spooky and it's the Adam's family. <laughs> no, not you, not now. What the? Whoa! Four a.m. Four a.m. I feel like the, the the crawler is gonna kill me. Wait. Oh no! I knew. They meet stairs, stairs goblin. <laughs> nah, it takes too much time. You know, today we're gonna do something in reverse. I think we make a break here. Ripping stairs addiction. <laughs> I think we got shut up music from the game. I think we're gonna make a, a little break here. And so um, I eat something, etc. We'll make a little break here, so I can either go back to this night or play another game. This is um, a bit. Re uh, this game is a bit repetitive. It's fun, but. Uh, I'm gonna pass night three. Alright, let's make a little break here. It's a bit shorter than uh, the other times, and we'll be back in like, uh, let's. Let me see. 20 over here. Hmm. We'll be back in. One hour. One hour? Yeah, one hour. Alright, little break here, and we'll be back in an hour for. Night 3 of this game, or another game, maybe another game, we'll keep this game for another time. <laughs> Alright, see ya in one, one hour, bye.